third of Burmester at the 12th on a little bit of an upslope, which will help. Can carry this all the way to the hole. It's going to come down softly. But it's a left turn to take a bit more sand, roll it down the hill, and in she goes. Beautifully done. On the upslope, good lie, Hoygaard. Not got a lot of green to play with, but the upslope's going to really help him here. Well said. That'll do. Thank you. <laughs> well, he knocks it on putting for Eagles. He can't hold them in, so he holds the bunker shot instead. This could be exactly the kind of break that Kisner needs at this point. Sure could. He's not guaranteed a par yet. Well, he might have just made a birdie. Wow, how good is that? Yeah, he wasn't about to make a par ever. This has to be a world-class shot. Oh, no. ah! I guess you could call it just that. And what a time to do it. Adrian Moronk, good lie in the bunker at nine. And needs it because you need a bit of control here. Oh, oh, what a golf shot. Wow, brilliant. This is Rafa Cabrera Bayo, found the sand at 17. Well out to the right, but he's played a majestic shot from here. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful shot. In the, absolutely in the back door, isn't it? The most marvellous of twos. This takes total commitment. The spine angle has to stay the same. Either. If he straightens up, this is straight into the bank. You just can't get the power as well. It's brilliant. Oh. It's top draw. It's absolutely magnificent. Adventurous technique. He's had his second into the 14. Oh! I'll have to try it. Will, will, we, will, we, will, will we, though? I don't well, know. I'm not that <laughs> athletic anymore. <laughs> I'd never get up. <laughs> oh, here he is. Monty. I've got a dog called Monty at home. Missing him. Lovely soft hands from Montgomery. Oh, beautiful. He still got it. He still got it. So, thick up. Third shot now three. It looks like he might be on the upslope. This will probably help him. He is a good bunker flag. He cuts across the ball so well. Look at that for a touch, Richard. That was nice, isn't it? Soft pair of hands, but yeah. a little bit of pressure through the ball. Just... I thought he was going to hold that then. It took a bit of a left turn, didn't it? But that was beautifully played. Now, first time this week, you see water accumulating in the bunker at six. Bunkers have been very firm all day. David Waugh, that was not an easy bunker shot. That high camera delayed the fact of how deep that bunker is to the right of six. Clearly see the putting surface. Third shot for Petzl coming to the turn. Uh, yes, that's a lovely played shot. Even better, in you go, you beauty. No putts required there. Rodriguez, he's eight under. Oh, it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Oh, it's an absolute little gem. That was a tough shot he had there. Landing on that down slope, beautifully judged. 66 for him and nine under. Forest after that really quite crooked wedge shot into par 5 ninth. This is fourth now from below the level of the green. Very little green to work with, landing on a down slope. And that is nothing less than magnificent from Grant Forrest. He's turned an almost certain bogey six from a really awkward spot into a birdie four with a piece of magic from the sand. Well, 
need to be a good bunker player to get this one close, and he is a good bunker player, Broberg. Brilliant from Boberg. Made it look easy, didn't he? That was not easy. Well, when you can't hold a putt, I suppose you've got to do something like that to get amongst the birdies again. Francesco Laporta, ball on the upslope. Ah, oh, it's just incredible. On the upslope, that awkward 35-yard length, the hardest shot in golf. And he comes up with, well, his shot of the week, probably his shot of the whole desert stretch. A bit of foot trouble here, up against the bunker. Beauty, look at that. Go on, then. Go on, then. Finally going to get his first birdie of the day. wide open. He's got a, quite a bit of sand to carry and not much green to work with. This is anything but an easy shot. Yeah. 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 Wow. Another eagle play. The ball is buddied. Todrake does. He practices all these sort of things until darkness. Third shot for wearing. Go on! Oh. Hole halved in three. Yeah, the all of a sudden, happening. It's all kicked off. Jeez. Seventh hole. And it's Roman Langasque. Good start. Three under for his first six. Nice little bounce forward. Uh oh, oh. It's in. <laughs> what a two. He just never did. He just missed a short birdie part in the last, and he holds that. Four under for his round. Brilliant. Uncomfortable stars. Get a little bit more flex in your knees, get you a little closer to the ball, and just make absolutely sure that you stay down through impact. Big temptation to look, at, look up when you've got one this difficult. Easier for the under 40s and the over 40s. Absolutely right. Your fear here is, Bradley, that you hit the front lip, isn't it? It's coming out so low and so hard and so hot and so beautifully. One of the best shots we've seen today. Yeah, I agree, 100%. two shots outside the cut line as it stands right now. Seamus Power, this is an aggressive play with a uh, metal, fairway metal out of the bunker. 2-4-9 to go, made a lot easier by the wet sand. So the club should bounce rather than dig if it gets slightly heavy. And he's got ball first, nipped it off the top, sounded like a great strike. Oh, is it ever? Kidding me? <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Classy golf shot, isn't it? Wow. If there's a better shot today, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Look at Victor Perez here, third at the par four sixteenth. Go on. He has. He has. Beautifully done. Three birdies in his last five there. That's a nice move to four under par. A couple behind now. Didn't catch the edge. Is it enough? The line's good. Oh, magnificent hobbling. Eight under par, one behind at the moment, and that's a fantastic shot. You can see his, his body on the down slope, trying to get the knees, the hips, the shoulders all parallel to that slope. Plenty of loft as well. Weight on the front foot, just ever so slightly, and needs to whip this up into the air. Well, I'll tell you what, deserves to win with a shot like that. That is sensational. What a shot. If you'd put a coin on the fringe, it's 
said, that's where you've got to land it. He would have hit it, Boxy. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.